Hey guys, what's up? It's the Wolf here one and only, and today I have a new mod that caught my eye inside of the Steam Workshop. We're going to be taking a first look at it. It's called The Bandit. And the small description that the creator left was an bandit sneaking into an ancient temple. She stole a magical board game only to become bound to it by a terrible curse. Now she answers the spire in search of a possible solution to her problem. Play two games at once. Slay the spire with 75 unique cards while managing a deep board game within. Cards you play affect the board game and in turn the board game affects the card game. Only players who can definitely utilize both to their highest extent will manage to, to achieve success. Okay, so features. It has 75 balanced arted cards, fully animated character image. It has its own campfire sprite, death sprite, all the jazz. Okay. <laughs> cool looking board game. Last enemy is the smithereens with a stray of strong boosted Kaboom bomb attacks dash across the board to destroy enemies with a. It's just, okay, you, you get where this is going. <laughs> but yeah, welcome back, guys. We have another mod to take a look at. This was going to be a first impression of a mod that I haven't played yet. But it looked very unique in a way, so I kind of wanted to try it out and see how difficult it was. So that's the sprite animation. Uh, let's take the free kills early. Okay, so which way has the most elites? So it seems like right down the middle here. No bonfires. Okay, let's keep going then. So it doesn't say it has any unique relics or anything from what I saw. Oh god, this is this is it. <laughs> um, it it also says um. Oh, it, it also summons things. So this is the board game. So when landing on this, I can lose energy. Oh, enemies gain weakness. Oh, okay. Well, this could be very interesting. Do I do I have a two? Yeah, I have a block that moves me up two. Okay, I upgraded a random card by hand. Do I have a three? I do. Done an enemy. Well, this could be pretty cool to be honest. I could move up 10. Oh, it even tells me where I move if I was to use it. I can remove. Oh, I can move within these spaces. Says move up to five. This one just says move five and move up to. Okay, so that explains a lot. Okay, cool. I need mods so far. But what happens if you get to the end? That's the real question. I guess we'll figure that out during this run. Alright, let's take some of those. Let's see, we have a move one. We got some blocks. It's in damage. We gotta make sure the cards are good too if we're gonna take them as well. That's gonna be difficult managing like which cards you get and basically I guess move up to cards are actually really good. Alright, deals five damage, move up to three. If you land on a negative spot, transform it into a positive space. That actually doesn't sound half bad. I will take that. Because we still got to utilize the board as much as we're playing Slate Aspire. I really like this idea, to be honest. We're not going to take that from you. We're not that greedy. Oh yeah, this is an enemy from a different mod. I always like to keep this mod pack on just because it actually adds in a lot more unique enemies. And, well, this boss has Thorn on it. So, is there a block here? Yeah, there it is. 
So it is weakens them and get rid of that. Okay, so we have block, move up to five and one. Is that basically six? Or is it rolling it? Well, block, add a kaboom into your discard. Move up two. At the start of your turn, add a card into your hands and move up to two turns. That could be dangerous too. But it also could be good. You know what? We'll take the power card. The only bad part I have to say about that is if we get, um. If we have like a place with two negative effects and we have to move forward, we have to choose between one of them. Alright. Through the middle here. Oh, what's that? I kind of want to see what the summoning space is. So we're going to aim for that now. Uh, is it within five? Oh, that's three. So I guess we would... Oh, well, we can't really see it because we're just going to kill him. Take some regen. Okay, what is this? Another kaboom. Move up. Two times. And block. Then move up two times. <laughs> yeah, I, I kind of like the art. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> it, it, it just feels silly to me and I like it. Actually, we're going to take that, because that actually gives us a lot more damage. If we're on a positive place, though. You can easily be, be on a negative. Oh, it's all the way up here? Um... Well, we can go up too. And then we can get three if we use this. So we get another energy that we can go into. Uh, we can do that. So we're going to go into a block. Another block. We go into that hit. And we're going to go to three.
Okay, so let's see. I wanted to actually see what that does. So we weakened him. Seven damage taken. Okay, what are we gonna get now? Oh, there's like a boom. Oh, everybody takes the. Oh, I don't like that. Never mind. <laughs> I didn't even see what it did at first. Everybody takes damage. I don't like it. Ow. Alright, so if I'm on a positive, take 10 damage, sucker. I, I took way more damage than I wanted to be. Okay, so this jar is from uh, Replay This Fire. Um, I get to choose what I'm going to be starting with at the top of my deck every time I start. I want to choose this, just to make it difficult on myself, because I think that just randomly um, adds in stuff. Hold on. get up there okay yeah that card is actually really viable that one that run card is gonna be amazing positive get that 10 damage in there 
Hey, you stop that. Okay, so give this block. Uh, well, here comes an issue. We literally have to summon one of these. I hope, hopefully, we can get the tin card. Because that tin could help us travel, like, really far. Or I guess we can do this. And we can do... Oh, here it is. <laughs> I was looking for that. No, this this mod is actually really neat. <laughs> A lot better than I thought it would be. Okay, so let's see. Shuffles a kaboom into your dick. I was about to say, these are kind of dangerous if you don't have block, though. Oh, this came back. You can do that. Okay, give me a relic. Oh, she does have her own relic. Well, it didn't really say anything about that, did it? Now I think about it. Hold on, let me re-look at that. Yeah, it doesn't say much about relics. It only just says... It only just talks about the cards, so I don't really know how many relics are actually unique to this character that's in here. Okay, angry hat. Oh yeah, that looks like a very angry hat if you ask me. <laughs> Alright, let's keep moving forward. We got a lead here. Oh, well, this could be fun. Lighting on this space does nothing. Ah, uh, well... It's about like me. I, d I do nothing all the time. Okay, transform those empty spaces. Let's go into... Well, I guess, would you, I guess you wouldn't count that as a negative, would you? Oh, that gave me a strength. You just said it does nothing. How dare you lie to me? Oh, maybe I wasn't completely on it. <laughs> Never mind, it was a strength space. <laughs> Okay, let's see if we can do like a little sneak attack to get over that. Ow. Okay. Yeah, we need to find a lot of block. <laughs> oh, yeah, the game just said, hey dude, I got I got you on the block. Give me a draw. Ah, nothing we need. This is something we need to land on. Draw two cards and transform it into place. Okay, so next place activates twice. Do I have a four? No, I don't. But I am on a positive, so I could be able to kill one of these. Ah, come on, really? Oh, that could have been so good to have. Alright, we're just gonna put this on. We had so many good cards in our hand, too. Okay, so Block will take me up there, but... Okay, that was dead. Block. And let's go with them two. And get that kamikaze. I'm just kidding. <laughs> that kaboom. Gotta get that boom. Oh god. More stock. Can, can we not have days? I was about to say, we have so much of it. 
Let's say I hated. I always hate fighting you guys. We're in a positive? No, we're not. We need one more. There we go. There's some more strength. So that strength block is actually really utilizing this. Ow. Okay. Yeah. That hurts. <laughs> So now we have a doll. The doll seems to be universal. It's not part of a mod. Like I said, I haven't played in the played this game in a while. It's great to come back to it for sure. I just gotta relearn everything. <laughs> eh, let's keep suffering and go to the elite over here. Maybe we'll be able to beat it. Okay, let's automatically get that strength. Ah, oh, I should have doubled. But I can do this and run. Get some extra block. Or not. Huh. The extra block didn't actually activate. Put this on. Ten should take me to go. Which gives me a ten damage. And I'm dead. <laughs> I tried. I tried. But this bot is definitely really cool. I like it. I actually didn't... I actually didn't even see a death animation. For the sprite. But what ifs. But yeah guys. If you want to try it out. The link is down in the description. This is actually a really unique mod. For those who are looking for more difficulty. And you know. Trying to challenge yourself more. With that said, the ton of things I gotta say about this mod is that, like I said, it's very unique. It, it thinks outside the bot, outside the box a little bit. Oh yeah, kaboom! Apparently, kaboom triggers um, thorns, and you have no control over the kabooms and their damage, which is kind of weird that the kabooms would actually trigger thorns. But I think this person was asking for um, strength and dexterity to affect like the movement cards maybe? I, I have no idea what they're trying to ask but it would also be good if we can actually have the number of relics that you've also put into the game because it kind of confuses us because well it kind of confused me because I thought it was just only cards but there's actually your own relics in here as well. You know, every other mod that I've looked at actually has the number of relics and the number of cards. Like, that would have been, like, a little bit interesting to have so I could just, you know, know ahead of time. But, guys, with that said, you guys know what it is. Make sure to leave a like if you guys enjoy this series and want to support it. And leave a comment if you guys have any mods that you want me to check out that you think I haven't played. And I probably haven't played half of the mods just because I don't explore. <laughs> but we're exploring now, darn it. But if you guys have a mod of your own, also hit me up inside of the comments and tell me um, the mod. Send me a link to it. And I will check it out. With that said, also leave some tips on how I can improve the series if you guys see any improvements that are needed. Until then, peace out.